Hi, welcome to a tutorial by Panoramic Essentials. Today, we're going to show you how to edit the Nadera Bay 360 by 180 panorama for professional virtual tours. As you can see in this image, we have some unwanted content at the base. This content will be translated over into the virtual tour, as you will see here. And the goal today is to remove this area and fill it in with natural content. To accomplish this task, we will need Panator Pro, Photoshop CS5 or CS6, and a basic knowledge of Photoshop's fill tool and clone tool. First, we'll need to add the desired panoramas into Panator Pro. Once the panos are added, we'll want to uh, select them, then go to the File menu and export them as cube faces. We'll want to export them in a Photoshop format or TIFF format in the 16-bit uh, depth. Once the export process is finished, we'll want to close Panator Pro and uh, there's no need to save the file. Next, we'll want to find the directory where the uh, cube spaces were exported. Once we're there, we'll want to select the bottom faces which contain the imperfection we want to edit out or fill. And we'll want to open them in Photoshop. Once the images are loaded into Photoshop, we'll want to select the Quick Selection tool and enlarge the uh, selection tool to cover the area we want to fill in, and then we'll want to right click and select fill, and we'll want to make sure that we have content aware, uh, normal, and then 100% opacity. And as you can see here, Photoshop filled us in pretty well, uh, you can't really notice any imperfection. Now we'll try it on a more complicated surface. As you can see, this one has shine and it has a lot of reflections of light bulbs. We'll, we'll want to deselect the, uh, the light bulbs. And then we'll repeat the same process. Right click, select the fill tool, uh, and then we'll make sure we have content aware, uh, mode is normal, and opacity at 100%. As you can see again, Photoshop does a really good job of filling it in. Um, now we may also want to remove this shadow over here. Uh, simply just select it, um, deselect any unwanted uh, areas, and repeat the same process. Again, Photoshop does a really well job of filling in the surface. Next, we'll try it on a more complicated uh, a basketball court. We're going to enlarge the tool to select the area we want, um, deselect any uh, unwanted areas. Right-click and tell Photoshop to fill it in. As 
you can see, Photoshop does a really good job of filling in the basketball court, but it doesn't do a very good job of uh, filling in the lines. But that's something we can do fairly easy on our own since it's a straight line. Simply just select the clone tool and select part of the line and just expand it and try to make sure that the surrounding surfaces of the wood match up. Now that we're done editing the panoramas, we'll want to import the cube faces back into Panator Pro and check the virtual tours. This is done simply by going to the file menu in Panator Pro and using the import tool. It's important to note here that you can only select six, in, six images at a time and you can import multiple cube faces. Now let's import the basketball court panorama and see how that looks. As you can see, it's hard to notice that the floor was uh, edited unless you knew it was there and you were looking for it. Thank you for watching, and we hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, please visit our website, and uh, if you have any questions, please shoot us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you.